Water towers are interesting because it gives you water pressure without electricity, provided it's full of water, all right? But how do you get the water up there? You gotta pump it. Water doesn't get there by itself. That takes electricity. Now, here's another thing. Have you ever noticed the buckles that go around the water tower that yes, holds them together? they're like little metal rods. The metal rods. All the way around. Yeah, let's split the water tower into three levels, top, middle, and bottom. So you can ask, what is the weight of the water of that top third? It's whatever it is. Call it 500 pounds. So now I put a little buckle around that, okay? Right at that spot. Let me go to the bottom of that. Now what is the weight of water at that point? Well, it's the top part. 500 plus, plus 500. 500. It's 1,000 pounds. pounds. So if one of these hoops is the right strength to hold 500 pounds, then that one, I, I need more than one hoop to hold it down here. I need two. If one can hold 500, that two will hold the 1,000. Now I'm at the bottom. I have 500, 500. I got 1,500 pounds pressing down at the bottom. Right. I need three of those hoops. Go look at the water towers on the tops of buildings. The hoops get closer, closer and closer, and closer as you get to the bottom. As you get to the bottom. Just because of this fact.